standing on our feet. Psalm 107 and verse number 20, a scripture that I like most. Let us move forward. Please do it quickly. He sent his word, he healed them. He delivered them from their destruction. He sent his word, and he has already said it this morning. He sent his word, and after sending the word, he healed them. And he delivered them from their destruction.
me and we try to uh, match the two languages all together. And I know God is going to bless us because of the time. This is a season and a very crucial season the Lord has given us. We are in a season whereby we are prevailing because we are traveling in prayer. We are in a season whereby to maintain power. Ili to kamelia mwana. Ili to kamelia mwana kutipitia maombi. Nani wakati mungu ameamua kutilirisha kupitia maombi yetu. And this morning, allow me just to go and teach you more around about the appalling power of prevailing prayer. We are still in the season of prayer. And we should understand to have a prevailing prayer. What does it mean?
hapa ni maombi mtani ambao unapeleka mbele za baba ni maombi ya hukumu wengine ama ni maombi ambao ni ya kuombea wale wengine you should not be praying charging the hands which are these prayers which achieve nothing number one, these are prayers of this one prayer with a wrong motive cannot be made prayer with a wrong motive you are praying but you are praying with a wrong motive ninafunga na nime zinima kubungia nipampana na hakuni tiana nina na biashara kupio
abomination. It is what we are calling iniquity. He is saying, if I require iniquity in my love, in my heart, I know the Lord will not hear me. <laughs> the Lord will not do what? Will not hear me. How many times do you come before the Lord and then you have a bitterness in your heart? How many times do you come to the Lord and then you know connection? Yeah. 
nimemtoa lakini najua siku ambayo inakunifuatilia nitamkamata tena nimemweka hapa sitamwachilia it will not stay i want to tell you your prayers are holy noises they are holy noises to the lord let me give you scriptures and you see together in the book of mark 11 25 mark let us move there quickly i see my time is moving quickly hey and i wanted to show you something else mark 11 Are you there? 25. Uh-huh. 24 and 25. Rather I stand I start 25. The Bible says, and the way we stand pray. <laughs> Are we moving together? Look to your Bible. And when you start pray, forgive if you have fault against any. For you have thought that also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Number 26. But if if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. Hallelujah. Eh eh. Kiswahili nasema nini na mama Messi? Nani? Kila mtu mama kuna kufanya nini? Usali ama kuomba kama vile tunaendelea na kuomba. Aha, endelea. Aha. Yes. Yes, are you here? Number one, 
said what? If you want to have a prevailing prayer, number one, prayers will want wrong motives. Number two, I say what? Uh-huh. See what it is regarded. Number three, I'll say unforgiving spirit. Number four, I have said and un- uh, unwillingness to be reconciled. Uh, and then, if you do all this, your prayers will be answered. Now, there are things which make your prayers to be answered. And I mentioned two, and then I finish. I welcome the man of God. Prayer that makes things to happen. Prayer that makes things to happen. Number one, if your prayer is from the heart, to ask your prayers, we make things to happen quickly. If your prayer is from the heart, and this we are going to get it from the book of First Samuel. Let us go into the First Samuel. If you have He said he wants what? 
Hallelujah. Cleanse yourself. Purify yourself. Kwa sababu nimekuambia some people prayers. Yaani katakiwa mapema na Mungu. Kwa sababu wanaomba vibaya. Mwanaomba vibaya. Reach out your two hands before the king and the tell the Lord to cleanse you, to purify you in this session of, of the last week of the prayer to enable you to protect you makushata salaba that sent it in my Let the help Lord begin to be with you. Begin to reconcile. In the name of the other party, which we don't want to reconcile with, it is not here. Begin to pray for power for reconciliation. Let the Almighty power, let the Almighty power begin to act in your life. In the name of Jesus, that we will thank you, Father. We have learned if we want to see specification and the prevailing of prayers, we must accord ourselves in full righteousness that in this moment we connect our lives unto you. Just say we pray and someone say amen. If you are there and you are sick, I declare you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. If your body has any challenge because of the power in the name of Jesus, I declare even without calling you, receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. And the someone shout and grow, yes, amen. Put your hands together, celebrate Jesus as I welcome the man of God. Friends, again to God. The letter is the process of the English. Take your letter, go see the lyrics in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Now, allow me just for two, three, four, five minutes to share a little bit about uh, the feet worship. To your neighbor, the feet worship. But before I do so, please, God bless you, Pastor. We are much humbled. Are you blessed? Are you really blessed? I feel so blessed and I feel energized to pray. Look at it in the book of John, chapter number 13, please. And as I'm reading this, I'm asking the stewards to bring the water for me. As I'm reading this, please, the stewards are there to bring the water. Those are already assigned. The Bible says, John chapter number 13, verse number 1, the ones. Now, therefore, the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of his world unto the Father. Having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the dead. And the supper being heaven, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas his chariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rised from supper and laid aside his garment and took a towel in guarding himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel where everything was guarded. Then came he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him. Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt not wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Verse 9. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my hair. Listen to me. Feet washing is a mystery. And a mystery is a kingdom secret, which is a very in the scripture. And whenever a believer understands about them, he devastates the enemy. By this mystery, I declare your enemies will be devastated in Jesus' mighty name. Now, Jesus knew that he was full of authority. Whatever 
number six and last number two. After two days, he will revive us. On the last day, he will restore us. Somebody say, I will be restored. Now, according to the Jewish culture, Ngeli, the Alikwa Naoshaniru, according to the Jewish culture, Ngeli, the Alikwa Naoshaniru, but now, wakati yeshu anakuja, Petro knew about the tradition, and he had come at, yeshu anachukua maji, anahanda kuwasha, rechano wakiwa anajua sheria kwa mamia, bana, Ngeli, the Anaoshwa, si mwenyechi, yeshu akamwagia, inao kifanya sasa, to teach meekness. But that is not the case. Praise the Lord. He was restoring uh, some things. He was restoring some virtues. He was restoring some good virtues unto them. Now, how do we need to approach this? Number one, look it as a red sea. When the children of Israel stand to red sea, it's a parted west. By this mystery, I declare your ways are opening in Jesus' mighty name. Look this as Jordan. Whenever they came unto Jordan, it also came well. I declare to so turn your feet upon this water. The enemy is killing you forever in Jesus' mighty name. In the book of John, chapter number 5, verse 1, as you step your feet upon this, that really must answer to your life. It is a mystery, it must deliver marching into you. What you have lost in the hands of the enemy, it must be delivered to you, Jesus. Then please rise up on your feet right now in Jesus' mighty name. This is a prayer that I want you to make. Whatever that I have lost in the hands of the enemy, be the thought to me.
you may go and be washed to your feet. Natakuwa na pale ukiwa na imani ya kwamba unaenda kurejeshewa. Just come forward with the full expectation that you are going to be restored. Please and let us do it quickly. Let us do it quickly, very quickly. Nataka mimi mikono yenu watoto mnapokuja na tusonge mbele kabisa katika ibada, katika madhabahu. Mimi mikono yako watoto wote, watoto wote, watoto wale wako shule please. I'm talking to children. Watoto wa shule, uko university, uko secondary, uko college, uko primary. Just step forward. Come forward. Come forward please. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Nasema watoto wote we are Watoto wote watoto wote watoto wote watoto wote please in the name of Jesus Father I bless these children I bless them with your power I declare your grace to come upon them as they go back to their studies Lord I speak a blessing in the name
devil. Dominion over Satan. Somebody confess your dominion. Somebody 